What's good, YouTube and all you Dolphins fans? It's the Miami Football Fanatic here again. And today, we've got some absolutely fantastic news in Dolphins land. Uh, the Miami Dolphins have come to an agreement with uh, Xavier Howard and his uh, representation. Uh, the deal is five years and $76 million, which is the richest contract in the history of the league, you know, in terms of uh, cornerback money. Um, before the deal was done, I was thinking that five years, 70 mil would be fair for Xavier. And obviously, the Dolphins agree. You know, we're in the same ballpark. Uh, the contract includes uh, 46 million in guaranteed cash, and Howard will receive 51 million in the first three years of the deal, uh, which averages out to about 17 mil a year during that span. And that, this is just the price you pay nowadays when a player like uh, like Xavier dominates the way he did last year. Uh, he really is a, it's an absolute key uh, building block for the team. It's important, you know, that you've got a great corner on the team. And he's a guy that the franchise definitely couldn't let, couldn't let um, test the waters in 2020. Now that the deal's been finalized, um, the Dolphins will have Xavier Howard under contract for the next six seasons, uh, with Xavier playing, playing out the fourth year of his rookie contract uh, this coming season. In my last video, I talked about the players that the Dolphins should be bringing back uh, this offseason, and obviously uh, Xavier was at the top of my list. And I'm just, the, I'm just glad that the deal is all signed, sealed, and delivered before uh, mandatory mini camp, training camp, and all that. So, uh, yeah, no, there's no uh, bad blood between uh, Xavier and the team like there was with uh, Jarvis and the team. Uh, head coach uh, Brian Flores has almost always featured a lockdown corner in his defense, uh, whether it was uh, Darrell Rivas or Stephon Gilmore. And now with Xavier Howard locked up, he will have an elite corner in his defense for many years to come. Uh, well, it will be Patrick Graham's defense, but I'm sure that Coach Flo will have his fingerprints all over the, the defensive game plan, similar to, um, you know, Bill Belichick the last two decades in New England. Uh, honestly, the knee injuries that X has had the last couple of years, they are a concern um, and make you wonder just how durable he'll be moving forward. But obviously the Dolphins felt that the injuries, you know, weren't a concern uh, when they handed him the richest, uh, you know, corner contract in the history of the league. And hopefully he's as healthy of, uh, as possible in the new future. Hopefully those last two, you know, knee surgeries have really uh, cleaned everything up. Um, X's agent, uh, Bilbo, said that X wanted to stay in Miami. Uh, he wanted to be a part of that culture. Uh, he wanted to make Miami his home. Uh, Chris Greer and Brandon Shaw were so easy to work with. Um they did what was right for the team in keeping a young, productive player, and they're trying to change the culture and keep uh, some young talent around. So, um, yeah, great job by Chris Greer. Um, Howard, 25 years old, uh, finished number one in the NFL in uh, passer rating allowed against him, 62.9, which was a minimum of 50 targets. Uh, he was also tied for the league lead with uh, seven interceptions despite missing the final four weeks of the season with a knee injury. Uh, it's great that the two sides were able to come to an agreement. Uh, the deal was a long time coming and I'm glad that um, we'll have a true shot down Pro Bowl corner with the team for another half decade. So in other news, uh, which has been rumored for a while, the Dolphins are signing right tackle Jordan Mills. And I'm sure um, that Ryan Schrader was on the team's uh, radar as well. But the team opted to sign the younger Mills instead of the 31-year-old um, Ryan Schrader, who play, who's played right tackle for uh, his entire career with the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, Mills, 28 years old, has got 82 career starts, uh, 82 career starts which makes him a favorite to start for the Dolphins this season. But granted, they are not going to give him the starting job. He's going to compete for it. Um, the Dolphins have you know, somewhat bolstered their offensive line by drafting Michael Dieter in the third round and signing Mills. Uh, as it currently stands, the starting offensive line may be Larry Tunsil at left tackle, Michael Dieter at left guard, uh, Daniel Kilgore at center, Jesse Davis at right guard, and um, Jordan Mills at right tackle. Uh, Mills, he's 6'5", 316 pounds, was ranked 70th among offensive tackles by Pro Football Focus as a, as a member of the Buffalo Bills last season, so <laughs> that isn't great there, you know, being ranked 70th in the league, but uh, I don't know, 
We'll just have to see how he performs with the team. Uh, Mills, he was a former fifth-round pick of the Chicago Bears, and he played at Louisiana Tech. Uh, the addition of Mills uh, won't play a role in the NFL's uh, compensatory formula, uh, which penalizes teams for signing free agents You know, prior to, I think, May 9th it was. So, yeah, that's terrific there. Uh, the Dolphins' offensive line depth currently includes center Co- Connor Hilliard, guard Isaac Asiata, and offensive tackle uh, Zach Sturrup. Um, there's a number of, uh, you know, undrafted guys that we signed, and uh, Isaiah Prince is obviously going to be a part of that depth right there. So, yeah, we're going to have a number of guys uh, competing for many spots. Uh, Jordan Mills, he'll be competing for the right tackle spot with Isaiah Prince and Zach Sturrup. Um yeah, I'm not going to short. I'm not really sure how that battle is going to go. Uh, I'm not a fan of Zach Sturrup. I don't think, man. He's just a he's a behemoth of a human being. He's six nine, uh, you know, three hundred and whatever pounds that he is. But I really don't think he's special. I mean, w- when he came in last year, for um, I think it was Tunsil or or Jawan James, he looked like trash. I mean, it could have been because he wasn't warmed up and they just threw him out there on cold feet. But um, I wasn't a fan of him and. Isaiah Prince, the tape that I've watched of him, especially the Michigan game, he looked incredibly solid, um, especially going up against Rashawn Gary and Chase Winovich, two high draft picks out of Michigan. Um, you know, now that Mills has been added to the mix, it's going to be a terrific uh, competition right there uh, for the starting right tackle position. So just a conclusion of the video, uh, the Dolphins brought back Xavier and Howard on a five-year, $76 million deal. It was a deal that was a long time coming, and I'm I'm, I'm incredibly gl- glad that it got done. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have elite. We're gonna have an elite corner on the team for many years to come. Um, who knows? Maybe even Larry Tunsil will be getting a deal soon. Seeing as you know, we're locking up the uh, the elite players in our team. Larry Tunsil could be the next guy um, on the crosshairs of the team. And in other news, as, as I just said, we signed uh, Jordan Mills to compete for the starting uh, right tackle position. Uh, it's not just, you know, we're not, we're not just going to hand it to the guy and it's a one year deal, 3 million. So, you know, it's a one year prove it deal and we'll see if, uh, yeah, he can be the guy for us moving forward. So we won't have to draft, um, a tackle or a white tackle in the 2020 draft. Alrighty guys, as always, don't forget to leave the feedback in the comment section, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Thanks for listening. And as always, fins up, baby.